indigenous populations and the damnable zoological republic are set free. Chine ken nan ke prumi jenine chuko ki kapen bonye indefi wena jan hanso yam mambu nine. Onyo bonani yana achi. Eli gwano wana wa kebe hona nyagine brega mrage no miko ke bende gene se bede nkosi. Anyi we ne eto yi. Agwa ne gatuma to ojo nine nkendiro. Iwe nyanyen dola lankede nubo dono bo chinketa. And you were not saying, he jammed money in the Tony Nedra Han Sorry. Oh, no, Bonania, Kikini, and no Padrakaya. And you were not Okuri, Nassigan and Kamamani, Kelly and Kojo, Mani Kelegi. And you were not Jagemma. We're not to you, we're not so proge. Nisum, we're in a bundi, couldn't we wear Zokum, Papa? Can have we check one along Sorry with your phone, my chinak and any Kuranian quack? No make a tag and deal no way where I lance up your phone, you're not chinak and can't be. I want a gatum at all, Johnny and can deal no. Mandan I want a baby in the ditch, you're not chinak and you never can get it to an opportunity get her. And you went to you. When I see only one in a chinak and can't prove me any man. Oh no, Bonaniana Zopota. Oh no, Bonania Bopuyan in the Buyana, amen. And you went out, says the Bupetan Gossi. Now to Tony Jamman, I'm sopro. Sit an epic, Marone Big. He said. He said, he said. Thank you so much for connecting wherever I join from. I appreciate you, every beer friend that have joined this program. I say, may Shukuka be my guide and protect you, secure you, and give you safety wherever you are. I appreciate every one of you who have been able to join me for this few minutes broadcast that I'm going to make. My broadcast usually is not very long but I'm going to try as much as possible to make it a very shorter if I can so my fellow beer friends you have seen what is going on everywhere what is going on in the east west north and south what is going on in all angles but I I'm telling you that you must be focused every single beer friend that is watching this video today you must be focused be focused this is the time to focus I will always remind you each time I come on a broadcast to remind you of what I said at the beginning of this year. That in this year that we are in now, the year that we are in, 2022, is a year of distraction. You are going to see unimaginable distraction that you have ever seen before. But you have to be focused. The only people that are going to succeed this 2022 are people who are mentally tough. You must be mentally tough for you to survive the 2022. And it's not a joke. I'm not joking. Share the video to your platform. Share it to family and friends. Share it in your WhatsApp group. Any place you belong, share the video. The only way we can survive 2022 is by being tough. I told you that in 2022, every attack to Biafra struggle will intensify. Every attack to Umuchineke will intensify. There will be more killing. There will be more deception. There will be more attack. There will be more black belt. There will be more, more confusion. And you can see it unfolding every day. I must tell you that our Supreme Damazin Nan Nekano is a prophet. An exceptional one. It doesn't matter. You can hate him. You can like him. But Mazin Nan Nekano, every single word he has said to you and I are coming to pass before your own very eyes. They are coming to pass before your own very eyes. Some of us unintentionally are helping some of the prophecies to fulfill, but we don't know. There is one particular prophecy that Mazen Nandekanu made that I'm praying that it doesn't come to pass. That he is not going to betray us. That it is Biafran people that will betray him. That is the, the one I have been praying for, not to come to pass. But from every indication, 
that prophecy is coming to pass before your own very eyes. And some Biafrans are participating in making that prophecy come to pass. Some Biafrans on their own are helping that prophecy to come to pass. We must not allow that prophecy to come to pass. We must not allow it. Every Biafran have to be focused now more than ever. You have to be focused. There are so many distractions from east, west, north, and south. But I want you to continue to ask yourself a question. What is your own responsibility in the Biafran struggle? What are you supposed to do as a human, as a person, to make sure that Biafra is actualized? Ask yourself that question. Stop looking at your brothers and sisters or whoever. Every single Biafran have a responsibility in the struggle to Biafra, for Biafra. Find out your own responsibility. Are you doing it? If you are not doing it, engage in it. Before I continue, I will thank my brothers and sisters in Biafra land. My Biafran and sisters in Biafra land have been holding the flag high. They have been holding the flag high, making sure that the plight of the people is not swept under the flag, under the carpet. Making sure that the issue of Mazen Nandekano remains on the front burner. Making sure that everything that had to do with Mazen Nandekano, people will continue to talk about it. All kudos to our brothers and sisters in Biafra land. They are paying the ultimate and greatest price. Our brothers in Biafra land, they deserve an accolade. We will thank them very much. Today was a seat at home, a successful one. A successful one. It was a seat at home also today. Biafras are engaging in it, and more people are going to join. Do not be discouraged any place you are. Stop looking at your shoulder. Is my neighbor doing it or not? If you yourself can be able to activate the seat at home and say what is evident by yourself, you are an added number. Stop the blame game. Stop looking at your shoulder. Concentrate on yourself. Are you doing your own part? Are you playing your own role in the actualization of Biafra? Every single one of us has a message from Chuku Kabiyama on what we are supposed to do. I have mine. You have yours. Including sharing of videos of people who are talking genuinely, speaking genuinely about, about the issue of Biafra. That is the responsibility of every Biafra. Any video that you see that is speaking the truth about the actualization of Biafra, share it and let it go viral. It's your responsibility. There are so many responsibilities that we have been saddled with as Biafrans. Are you playing your own role? Are you playing your own role? Or are you busy gossiping? Are you busy promoting issues that are irrelevant? Are you busy making people that are not relevant, relevant? Is that what you are doing? If you are one of those who is busy making irrelevant things relevant, please desist from that. You are causing a distraction to yourself. You are destroying the house you are supposed to build. And this is not the time. This is not the time. The Biafran struggle have almost reached the highest peak. We are going home. We are going home. Don't be distracted. If you are not on the boat yet, run and run as fast as you can to catch up with the train. The train have left the station already. The train have let the train of Biafra have left the station and we are going home. If you are not on the train, run as fast as you can and join the train. And don't be distracted. Don't be distracted. If you don't want to join the train, step aside. Don't be a distraction. This is not the time to talk about personality. This is not the time to talk about demonizing somebody. This is not the time for blackmail. This is not the time to talk about irrelevant things. Let me tell you. I strongly believe that Chukwu Kikabiyama is in charge of the struggle as it stands today. I believe it 101%. And every single one of us have a responsibility. We have to concentrate and ask ourselves, are we playing the role we are supposed to play? Those of us on the media, are you truly sensitizing people on the struggle? Are you sensitizing people on how to follow Biafra or you are distracting them? Find out the topic you discuss on your channel. Is that topic encouraging Biafrans or causing distraction? The topic you discuss in your channel, is it causing distraction or is it motivating Biafrans? Is it a discouraging topic or is it motivating Biafrans? This is the time for you to use a motivating topic. Discuss issues that motivate your fellow Biafrans. 
discuss issues that motivate Biafrans. Any issue that does not motivate Biafra, stay away from it. Stay away. The time you will use to analyze your brother who is playing his or her own role, use that time to make an impact in the struggle. Use it to make an impact in the struggle. We have spent so much time talking about things that are not relevant. We have spent so much time talking about things that are irrelevant. This is the time for us to speak about relevant issues. This is the time for us to talk about things that matters, things that matters about you and I. This is the time. This is the time to discuss issues that have to do with the struggle of Biafra. Our Supreme Damazin Nandekano, who is the flag bearer, whether you like it or not, whether you believe it or not, Mazen Nandekano remain the supreme leader of IPOB, the supreme leader of the Biafran struggle. There is no planet, place in the planet Earth where you mention Biafra issue that you don't mention Mazen Nandekano. Including an enemy. An enemy of Biafra cannot mention Biafra without calling Mazen Nandekano. Mazen Nandekano remains the flag bearer of Biafra. And we must have to do everything humanly possible to make sure that Mazen Nandekano is being released from the hand of the enemy. That is what is supposed to be our priority now. That it has to be supposed to be the major thing that borders every single Biafra. How do we free our spirit Amazon Nandikano from the hand of the enemy? How do we free him? In the process of thinking about how to free Mazen Nandikano, each and every one of us might have different ideas. You will have your own idea. I have my own idea. Every single one of us have our idea. Including those who have their platform where they are talking and those who do not have platform where they are speaking. We have our idea. Ask yourself, that idea that Hachuku Okarion have put in you, how are you implementing it? How are you implementing your idea? Let me tell you, if you are one of those who is sitting aside and waiting for Mazen Nandekano to come from DSS and give you order, please, you are wasting your guarantee time and you are part of the distraction. If you are waiting for Mazen Nandekano's order from DSS, let me tell you, you are part of the distraction. Chukwu, Mazen Nandekano have done everything he's supposed to do for you and I. Mazen Nandekano have given us answers to every question that you are asking today. There is no single question that is being asked today that the answer is not in the brokers of Mazen Nandekano. Even some people try to manipulate those messages. The messages that Mazen Nandekano left, you see some people trying to manipulate it to sound their evil intention. They manipulate it to sound their evil intention. But you... That is the follower of Mazin Nandekano, a Biafra, a sincere Biafra. Don't tell me you don't know what is wrong and what is right. You must know what is wrong and what is right. Except when you try to cloud your brain with evil. Maybe because of a hatred you have for a particular person. That hatred will cover your eyes. You will no longer see the truth. When you hate somebody, that is why hatred is not good. Anger is not good. Malice is not good. When you are hating, when you hate somebody, you are equally pushing yourself back you are keeping a putting a stop to yourself you cannot progress in your thinking you can't progress in your thinking but when you do the right thing keep an open mind look towards in the way it's supposed to be let me tell you your mind when your mind is open you will see every answers to every question you are asking and you will not be distracted you will not be distracted let me tell you, dear friends, we have to be focused. The stage that we are in now, the state that we are in now is a stage where every single Biafran have to play a role. Every single Biafran have a role to play at the stage that we are now. It is no longer business as usual. Everyone today have known the truth and the truth is open. Anybody today who is busy, Attacking somebody, you are busy antagonizing, you are busy demonizing your fellow brother, whom you know is genuinely fighting for Biafra. You are a time waster. You are a time waster. We don't need to listen to you. And you are wasting your own time equally. You are delaying your own freedom equally. This is the time every Biafran have to participate in the action that is happening now. A time for action. A time for massive civil disobedience that have never been seen before. That is where we have a responsibility. 
let us focus on how to make sure that this economic sanction we are talking about takes effect. Stop distracting yourself with things that are not relevant. Stop distracting. Let me tell you, it doesn't matter whom you are. We know what we are looking for. Every single Biafra, including, for, including a child, know that we are looking for freedom and only freedom. We are looking for freedom. That is where every one of us meets. We must not agree in all things. We must not agree in the way we present issues. We must not agree in the way we talk about issues. We must not agree in our mode, mode of presentation. We might not agree. In the method of our presentation, we might not agree. But in one place where every single one of us agree is that we must be free from the caliphate. We might not agree in so many things. The way we present our programs, the way we talk about issues, the way we do, we might not agree. That is why you should not spend your time in demonizing your own brother that you know who have made impact in the struggle, who has brought suggestions that you and I know, suggesting that have worked, simply because of a particular thing you want him to do in your own way. Simply a thing that you want him to do in your own way. You feel that he's not doing it, then you begin to demonize that your brother. You begin to call him names. You begin to say all manner of evil against that your brother. It's not, it's not proper. You are distracting yourself and you are distracting others. The place where you and I have a responsibility now, how are we going to encourage other bear friends? How are we going to encourage other people who are still sitting on the fence? How are we going to encourage people who are doing something to continue doing what they are doing and tighten it up more? This is what they're supposed to be that is where you're supposed to concentrate let me tell you and tell you again you have to hear this hear this every idea every idea every suggestion that is not coming from that is not honored by Chukwokabiyama can never fly it doesn't matter who brings the idea that is why sometimes you don't spend your you don't, don't spend your time fighting fighting idea you see some of us each time they come to Broca, they will tell you Biafra is a spirit. Biafra is a... You know Biafra is a spirit, yet you will not allow that spirit to fight for itself. If you sincerely know that Biafra is a spirit, there are certain things you will see. You will ignore it and allow the spirit to take to fight. There are certain issues you will see. There are certain mistakes you see that your brother has made. Something you might be seeing it as a mistake. You personally might be seeing it as a mistake. But when you see that thing, that the person that you are accusing of such, such a thing have not been doing such a thing, and he has done so many things that are so good, you have to sit back and watch. And watch where that thing is leading to. Let me tell you, all that glitters are not gold. And certain things we see that are wrong might be right in the sight of God. In the sight of Chukwu Kabiyama. Chukwu Kabiyama might allow certain wrong things to happen to prove us, to prove himself right. Just as I was saying in, in, in the program, that Chukwoku Kabiyama can use even an enemy, a Janjaweed, Chukwoku Kabiyama can use a Janjaweed to, to fight for Martin Nandikama, to fight for Biafra freedom. A caliphate, a Janjaweed can fight for Biafra freedom, unknowingly. He might be doing it thinking that he's fighting against Biafra. He might be doing it thinking that he or she is fighting against Biafra, but at the end of the day, at the end of the day, Chukwoku Kabiyama have placed him or her on that position to fight Put up a fight that is going to turn the twist the whole the under hand of everything and make sure that Biafra comes. There are certain things that are controlled only spiritually that you cannot control physically. There are certain things that you control, you can control physically, but when it comes to spiritual issue, you can't control it. And let me tell you, everything that is not supported by Chukwukabia cannot fly. That is why you must not antagonize everything you see. You must not pursue and fight every, everything you see. There are certain things you see, you let go, sit back and watch. And watch Chukwukabia take action and do what he wants to do. There is no need. The kind of things that are happening on media today, the kind of things, there is no need for that. The media people are very distracted, so distracted. When you see our media warriors, those who call themselves media warriors, fighting for Biafra, who are supposed to be fighting for Biafra, they are so distracted that the kind of topic they discuss, I'd be wondering, what is your intention on discussing this topic? Are you discussing a topic that is, we encourage people, 
or a topic that will discourage people? Or are you discussing that topic to draw attention to yourself? The population of Biafran people is more than 70 million. The greatest person that have the highest crowd in Biafra struggle in broadcasting is Master Simon Ekpa. Each time Master Simon Ekpa is broadcasting, sometimes he have up to 15,000 watching, 20,000 watching in our platform. Just 20,000 or 15,000 watching in other platform. But we have more than 70 million Biafrans. Every one of us have audience. It doesn't matter how the number of broadcasters you have. We have audience. But what will increase your audience depends on the message you are dishing out. When you are giving the right message, you will have a proper audience that will listen to you and remain there and continue to listen. They will not go away. But when you begin to chase shadows, you look for a topic. What, when they, what, what at the end of the day, that topic you are chasing, because it's a raining topic, you choose it so that people will pay attention to what you want to say. At the end of the day, when that topic stops raining, what are you going to say again? Nothing. You have nothing more to say. Why don't you specialize on encouragement? Encourage Biafrans. We have a lot of responsibilities and things to do. Chukwu Kakabiyama is speaking for, through so many people. He is speaking through so many people. And we have seen so many things that some of our brothers have said that is working. Our brother Simon Ekba have given so many suggestions that are working. Have worked a miracle. They are working. And every single Biafra that is genuinely fighting for the freedom of Biafra knows that Simon Ekba have given so many suggestions that are very, very effective. Even his enemy confessed. Even those who hate Simon Epa confessed that he has made some impact. Let me tell you, I must not say things the way you want me to say it. I must not do something the way you want me to do it. But the most important thing is that we are running towards one thing. Freedom. The freedom of the Biafran people is where every one of us meets. That is where we meet. Our meeting point is in freedom. Where every single Biafra meets is in freedom. You must not like me. You must not like the way I present my messages. You must not like the way I go about things. You must not like my own approach. But the major thing that you have to be concerned about is that at the end of the day, what I'm pursuing is the freedom of our, my people. Put it the same to your position. The freedom of your lineage, the unborn children. It is not about you and I. You can hate me. It's okay. You can love me if you like. It's okay. But do not take your hatred to the extent that you use your hatred to destroy the collective interest that we have. You will be destroying yourself thinking that you are destroying your brother. You will be pushing the hand of time back thinking that you are pushing your brother back. Today is Sunday. So many of our, brother, our brothers in Biafra land are paying the sacrifice sitting at home on Sunday. You know how our brothers and sisters love going to church. You know how our brothers and sisters love religion. But so many of our brothers and sisters have sacrificed that day. They never go again. They are waiting until Martin Nanikan is released. Look at Monday. Tomorrow is Monday. And I believe tomorrow is going to be a ghost town. Tomorrow is going to be a ghost town. Tomorrow is going to be a ghost town. And on that tomorrow, let us encourage our brothers and sisters in Biafra land. Let us, let me tell you, my brothers and sisters, any place you are watching from, no single human being living on the planet Earth knows it all. We don't know it all and we are not all perfect. There is no way you can be perfect in everything. And there is no way I will say everything and do everything the way you want it to be done. It is not possible. We are human beings. And when we talk about right, Every single human being has the right to do things the way they feel is going to work out and make it allow people to make that mistake and make their correction by themselves. Sometimes that is the best way. Allow people to make the mistake. They will sit back and see their mistake and make their corrections. Attacking your fellow brother, your sister, demonizing them, giving them them becomes so one or the other. It's not the best way. It's not the best way. It is not the best way. That is not the best way to follow things. Attack and attack is not the best. Let me tell you, sometimes, sometimes I say, sometimes we make irrelevant things to become relevant. When I see you preaching something that I do not like, you preach a message I don't like, you talk about things that I don't like, I, I'm not going to take it, I'm not going to share it, I'm not going to comment about it. 
I will come on my own platform, use a topic to counter what you said, even without mentioning your name. I will not even mention your name, but I'm going to say something on my broadcast to counter whatever you have said that I feel it's wrong. I will not call your name. I'm not going to fight against you. But within my own thinking and my own thought, that thing that I feel is not okay, that Chuko Kaiba has placed in my mind and said, this is not okay. I am going to talk about it on my program. It is not going to distract me. After talking about it, I go my separate ways and continue on my message and preaching to the Biafran people. I am not going to focus on you to use you or use your name to make a topic of my program. I won't do that. You nobody deserve that. You don't deserve it for me to use you to make a topic of my program. We have a very big burden on our shoulder. How to free Mazen Nandekano. Mazen Nandekano is the only man that we can be able to use as a topic to discuss the kidnap of Mazen Nandekano on our platform and discuss how are we going to free Mazen Nandekano. How are we going to free Mazen Nandekano? That should be our, our major motive on what to do. How to free Mazen Nandekano. Be focused on how to free Mazen Nandekano. And as long as somebody is pursuing that thing that will free Mazen Nandekano, follow it and pursue it. If you feel that you don't like the method that the person is using, use your own method. There are so many ways and so many directions that leads to one place. We are in a world where you can pass through so many places to go to a direction. Some short ways, some road are short, some are long, some are far than other. We must not pass all, all through one route. We must, we must not pass through one route. But the major thing is that we are heading to one destination. The destination that every single Biafra agitator is heading to is Biafra. Freedom. Everybody that is fighting for, including our Ududu and brothers that are fighting for their own freedom. I stand with them 101%. A middle better, even a northern who is, he is agitating, an outside person agitating for his freedom. I stand with them. I follow so many outside groups. I understand the outside very well. I have so many, so many of their videos. I have their videos where you will see outside people speaking the way Mazin Nandekan is speaking. Some of us don't know that there are outside people agitating for Ausa. Some of us don't know there are some outside people agitating. They are agitating for their own group. I have so many videos. I can't share it because I feel that some people can't, cannot understand what they, they are talking about in the video. We are an Aosa man is agitating, speaking about the issue of Aosa, the way Fulanis are dealing with Aosa, the way Fulanis are sponsoring terrorism, the way Fulanis are the ones providing every food soldiers that the terrorists in the north are using. Why are we bent on talking about irrelevant things? Why are we bringing up? The major thing is that every time we say Biafra is a spirit, Biafra is a spirit, Biafra is a spirit, doing fully well Biafra is a spirit, it takes a lot for somebody to interpret the things of the spirit. And when Chukwu Okabiyama is in charge, when Chukwu Okabiyama is in charge, sometimes the wisdom of man can be foolishness in the sight of God. Those things we are seeing as wrong might be right. In the sight of God, to the human eye, to the eye of human, it might be it might be wrong. But Chukwu Kikambiama will permit certain things to happen to correct certain things. That is why I say Chukwu Kikambiama can even use a a a a a, a janjaweed, a caliphate man, a janjaweed to free man and can. He can do it. And when the janjaweed is doing nothing, he wouldn't know. He wouldn't know. Just like the kidnap of man and can. The way the kidnap of Mazen Nandekano is now, the way the case is, if the Janjaweed had known, if they have known that what is happening today they will happen, they will not kidnap Mazen Nandekano. They will not. The kind of pressure they are getting, no matter how they pretend, you see the caliphate, they are very stubborn. They are stubborn to the core. They can pretend. No matter how they pretend, no matter how they pretend, if they knew what they know today, they will never ever kidnap Mazen Nandekano. That is why I tell you, the coming of Biafra, Mazen Nanakan used to say it is the last miracle on the planet Earth. And the way it is going to come, no man is going to give you Biafra. Mazen Nanakan said it. No woman will give you Biafra. Mazen Nanakan said it. No international community, no United Nations, nobody will give you Biafra except Chukwukuka Biafra himself. And only him and him alone know how to do it. He knows whom to use. If Chukwukuka Biafra 
for those of us who are Christians who believe in Christianity, if you go Kabiama can speak through an animal, can pass a message through an animal, speak through an animal, how much more a human being? How much more he's let me tell you, he can use anybody, anybody to bring Biafra. That is why it doesn't matter who is acting, who is that. Sometimes when you see something, it is better to be silent than to speak about it. Watch. It is not because of what you are talking or that that is making Biafra to lead the way it is. It is not only what you are saying. I'm not saying you shouldn't talk. We have to continue to talk and do what you have to do. But it is not just because we are talking that things are happening. Chukwu Okikabiyama have made it that we will have our freedom. And no man born on the planet Earth will take away our freedom from us. The only thing that we have to do is to do what we are supposed to do as human. Do what, do your own part and leave the rest for God. When you want to make a counter of what you don't like about certain things that someone said or a topic, say it. You can say it without demonizing anybody, without calling somebody's name, without calling. But when you see people on their platform talking, you will see them castigating somebody. But at the same time, they are doing exactly the same thing they are accusing somebody about. Exactly that same thing is what you will be doing. You see why you must have to be careful. There is no point. When you see somebody preaching a message you cannot be able to digest, walk away. Don't comment. Don't share. Just walk away. When you see somebody discussing a topic that is higher than you, you don't understand it. You think it's not right. Sleep over it. You think it's not right. Just get out of that program. Then if you have your own platform you want to discuss about it, you can use that same topic. Talk about it. Say it the way you feel it and the way you want it. That is what we call freedom of speech. In freedom of speech, express yourself the way you want it on your own platform. But do not spend your time demonizing, analyzing your own brother, your own sister. It is not proper. That is a distraction. That is a distraction. And when you see people doing this, you see somebody who is distracting his own fellow Biafran at the same time claiming that Biafrans are distracting him. You will see somebody using a topic that is a very controversial topic and very distracting. At the same time, that person who is distracting people is accusing others of being a distraction. The only person who is not distracted is somebody who is talking about the freedom of Biafra, who is talking about how Biafra will come, how we will do those things we are supposed to do to make sure that Biafra come. Now, we have all accepted that civil disobedience is working. We have all accepted that civil disobedience is not only affecting the uh, southeastern region. Civil disobedience is affecting every region in Nigeria. Uh, the contraption called Nigeria is running helter-skelter because of civil disobedience. They can't hide it anymore. They are confessing. You know that that is working. That is what you have to promote. Support and push it more. Let the Biafran people tighten it more. Tomorrow is it at home. Today, broadcast is supposed to be to encourage our Biafran brothers and sisters in Biafra land to come out in masses. Those of us abroad will call our families in Nigeria. Join the protest. Join the civil disobedience. Sit at home more than ever. We have seen it. That is working miracle. We are talking about economic sanction to the Janjaweed economy. It is the right thing to do. Why don't we focus on that? Which you and I know that if we do it well, it will bring Biafra. Why are you now leaving that issue that you know that will bring Biafra? You are focusing on another issue that is irrelevant. You are now using your own discussion on your channel to make that topic relevant. Something that you know, you don't, you want, you don't want it to be relevant. You don't want the topic to be relevant. But for you discussing your channel, people coming to view you, you are not making it relevant. Another person will come there, watch it, share it, go and discuss it. Then, that, before you know it, the video will go viral. That topic that you don't you say you don't like, you don't, it will go viral. And before you know it, people will begin to buy it because people have different mentalities and different ideas. There must be people that will embrace it. But when you do not discuss just issue, allow it, it will die a natural death. Let me tell you, as far as Biafra struggle is concerned, anything that is not permitted by Chubo Kabea must die a natural death. Any single idea, any single plan, any single preaching, any single message that does not emanate from Chukwokuka Biyama in Biafra struggle will die a natural death. It doesn't matter who preaches it. It doesn't matter who brings it out. 
if that preaching is not from school camp, it will die a natural death. So don't waste your time and energy talking about it. You can counter it in your program. Don't fight about it. You can counter it. After countering, you move on. Continue to fight on for your struggle. You have the freedom to counter every opinion that you don't agree with. You can counter it on your program. That is your freedom. Counter it. If you feel you have enough information, counter it. Then people will hear it and go and digest it. Then Chukwu Okokabiyama is the one who has the right to give people the original interpretation of every single word you are saying. As I'm broadcasting, people are hearing. It is not just because I'm saying They are not just hearing what I'm saying and believing it. They will go and digest it. I am not the only one speaking online. There are so many people preaching messages online. When you hear from this one and hear from this one, Chukwu Okokabiyama is the only one that is going to digest, make you, give you that grace to digest it. That is why Mazen Nandekano, each time he's broadcast, he will say, come with your pen and paper. It's not just coming with a writing pen and paper. Come with your brain so that you can be able to capture something. Use your brain. But today, so many of us are still asking questions that Mazen Nandekano have answered. We are still asking those questions. Questions that Mazen Nandekano has answered, we have answered it. Some of them, out of their wickedness, out of their greed, out of their evil intentions, they will go and twist the message of Mazen Nandekan and begin to use it for their evil intentions, use it to convince people, just to win people by itself, use it to form parties, use it to form sections. It is not going to help anybody. It's not going to help anybody. It's not going to help anybody. Just like my brother Simon Epa said, forming meeting and meeting and cabal and cabal is not going to help anybody. Enough of the meetings. Enough. Let us forget. If you know that idea that we move Biafra forward, whatever is it, preach it on your platform. People will take it and run. If it is a good one, people will pick it up from you and run away and begin to implement it. That is what you are supposed to do. If you know anything that will bring Biafra, anything that, any suggestion that you yourself know that will bring Biafra, Preach it on your platform. Preach it and push it on your platform. When you push it, people are going to run with it. Chukwu Okokabiyama will fit water it. When you bring a suggestion that is legitimate, that will bring Biafra, preach it on your platform. Chukwu Okokabiyama will water it. When he water it, you will see people run away. You will be surprised what you just said. Maybe you didn't even know when you said it. People will run away with that information. And will begin to spread like wildfire. Do not waste your time on talking about irrelevant things. You are the one who will come with your program and call people irrelevant. At the same time, you are discussing them. You are advertising them. You are making flyers with their name and sharing. Are you not advertising them? You are making them relevant. But when somebody talks to you, you don't respond. The person will die a natural death. Mazin Nandekano applied the same method. There are some people that castigated Mazin Nandekano. Talk. When he comes, you think he will respond. He will never respond to you. He will be silent. And when he becomes silent about it, you will die a natural death. Everything that is not for Biafra, everything that Chukwu Okokabia did not permit in Biafra, I strongly believe that whatever Chukwu Okokabia did not permit in Biafra struggle will not happen. That is how far I believe that Chukwu Okokabia is in charge and Biafra is a spirit. And if you believe that Biafra is a spirit, believe it. Believe it that anything that Chukwu Okokabia did not permit cannot happen in Biafra struggle. It doesn't matter whom you are. It doesn't matter how connected you are. It doesn't matter how small or how big you are. If Chukwu Okokaba do not support the agenda you are pushing, it will definitely die a natural death, no matter how long it takes. It will die. So why would I bother myself attacking you, fighting you, preaching you, using, wasting my energy that I used to talk to my brothers and encourage them, I used to begin to talk about irrelevant analyzing your video. Why? I will bring a video of my fellow Biafra and I begin to analyze, analyze, analyze what? Even analyzing things wrongly. You will just cut out a portion of a video. You don't even know, know what transpired that made the person to say what he said. You don't know the tension that was there when the person said what he or she said. It is, it is, it is wrong. It is very, very wrong. We have to concentrate on what we are saying. Concentrate on what we are doing. We are human. We are not spirit. Everybody is bound to make mistakes. Sometimes when you push a human being to the wall, 
they will bounce back. They might bounce back in a way that you will not like. They might bounce back to, in a way that you will regret yourself. Why do you ever... You, you'll be wondering, is this person so deadly? Or is it because you're pushing your heart to the world? Everybody has the way they respond to issues. Everybody has the way they make their reactions. We must not react the same way. You must not react the same way. Just like some people are pushing. That man says, Simon, I should do this. Man says, Simon, I should do this. She should do this. Should do this. Let me tell you. In this struggle... Things cannot work in that way. I myself, particularly, personally, I'm not expecting my son, man, to be a to be a to be a, to be, a, to be a miracle worker. I'm not expecting him to be 101 percent correct in everything. I'm not expecting him to do everything the way I want it to be. That is not what I expect from him. My concentration is that my son, Simon Ekpa is bringing some wonderful ideas. When it comes to ideas, he is bringing excellent ideas that even the enemy confess that those ideas are effective. That is what I'm concerned about. I'm also concerned about that he is making an impact. But it, do, am I expecting him to do everything the way I want it? No, I am not. Am I expecting him to say everything I want him to say? No. He is a man of his own self. He has a way that he does things. I have the way I do my own things. You that is watching me have a way to do your own things. And I will never expect you to do things the way I'm doing. We have different spirits leading us. Fingers are not equal. Our brains are different. We understand things differently. We capture things differently. But there is one common interest where every one of us is meeting. A common thing that even our children know, we all need freedom. We all need freedom. That is a common thing that join every one of us together. Freedom. And as long as somebody is walking towards freedom, you are walking towards that freedom. I have seen you bring an idea that brings success to the freedom. I have seen you do things that shows that the, you are part of the struggle and you are moving towards getting freedom. Why would I stand against you? Why would I talk against you? Why will I come and begin to preach against you? Why will I come and stand against you? Why? It is possible you might go wrong in certain places. It's possible you might say certain things the way I don't want it. When you say things the way I don't want it, I will come to my own platform. Just like I'm here, I will say it the way I want to say it. And people will listen to me. Some will agree, some will not agree. Even as I'm making this broadcast, some of you are wishing that I will use certain language. Some people watching me now might be wishing that I use some language. They'll be wishing that I call some people's name. They'll be wishing that I say certain things in a certain way. But I cannot do it because I will do things my own way. It's left for you to now filter whatever I'm saying and now use your own brain to filter it and use the word you want to use. The major goal, the major goal, thank you, Tiger Chica. Our goal is freedom. Our goal is freedom. That is, the, that is the target. The collective interest of every single person, including our Udua brothers. I support them. Our Udua brothers. They are also looking for their freedom. That is where every one of us... That is, it is because of freedom. It is because of freedom. That is why Udua and Biafra can hold each of them flag. A Biafra will hold Udua flag and raise it up. A, an Udua person will raise Biafra flag because of freedom. It is because of freedom. It is because of freedom that Afeni Fere will support Mazen Nande Kano. Because of freedom. It is because of freedom. Somebody from the middle belt will hold a meeting with Mazen Nande Kano in support of his movement. It is because of freedom. So why is it that you that is a Biafran, why do you take because of freedom? Knowing fully well that we are fighting for freedom, which is our goal. Focus on it. Focus on it. Don't be distracted. Talk much more about your freedom. If your brother uses a language that you don't like, you can come to your program and counter it. There's nothing wrong about that. You have your freedom to your opinion, but don't use him as a topic. You can counter it without even mentioning him or her name. You can give, make your own opinion without demonizing anybody, without antagonizing anybody, without calling anybody name. You can make your opinion. And people will listen to you and hear you out. 
this division, how many places are we going to divide the struggle before Biafra comes? In as much as we must not be on one page, we will not be because every place in the planet Earth where freedom has been fought, there has been this kind of issue. There have been different groups, different sections. When you talk about the freedom of South Africa, South African people do not have only ANC. They have different groups, different groups who fought for their freedom in South Africa. So many other places where India we are fighting for their own. It was, it was not only Gandhi. It was not only Gandhi. There were so many other groups that were fighting. But Gandhi was the most pronounced one. There were so many other ones on the ground. Every other country that have fought for freedom, at one point in time, there were so many other people fighting. We have to be resolute and be very, very strong. That is the language, resolute. Yes. We have to be resolute. Freedom doesn't come cheap. And the enemy we are up against is strong. They are fighting us physically and spiritually. They are intensifying their fight in all phases and angle. But be from people. What are you doing? So many of us are not, instead of increasing our own fight, we are increasing our focus on blackmail. We are increasing our focus on destroying our own brother. We are increasing our focus on seeing our brother who will make mistake. The way people talk, you see as if they are just waiting for you to make a mistake. They are just waiting for you to make it. As soon as they see something they feel that is a mistake, they will pick it up. They will use it as a topic. They will use it to make flyer. They will use you to talk on say on another thing. They will have, have a topic they will discuss for a whole week. You have become their topic on their program. That means they were waiting for you to make a mistake all this while. They were just waiting to see the day you will make a mistake. Nobody is above, above mistake. No single human being born on the planet Earth is above mistake. It doesn't matter who you are. Everybody make mistake. We all make mistake. We are prone to mistake. None of us is God. None of them. None of, none of us is God. We must have to continue to encourage our brothers and sisters. Encourage anybody that is fighting for Biafra and saying the million fruiting. We must have to follow them and support them. We must have to stop this distraction. Stop this envy and jealousy and distraction. Sometimes people don't do it intentionally. I see it that so many people don't do it intentionally. They might be doing it with good intent, good, good intent but more especially those of us who are broadcasters, we have to mind what we say and what we do. Before you discuss a topic, ask yourself, this topic I'm about to discuss, is it going to encourage people or is it going to discourage people? Ask yourself, those of us who are broadcasters, before you raise a topic, ask yourself, this topic I'm raising, is it going to encourage people or is it going to discourage people from the struggle? If you can answer that question correctly, then you can be able to choose your topic wisely. There are so many topics you see people discuss on their platform. They are just meant, they are just topics that will distract people. You might think you are trying to set a, 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 a record straight. Yeah, I, I want to set records, I want to say the truth, I want to say the truth. But at the end of the day, you end up confusing more people. You end up making more people lose courage in the struggle. This is what has been happening all these days, all this while. Most of the arguments they bring, at the end of the day, you see that they have ended up people who are claiming to say the truth. I will say the truth. I will not lie. I will say the truth. You end up discouraging people from the struggle. Then ask yourself, after all this distraction and discouragement, what have you achieved? What have you achieved? What have you achieved? You can counter what somebody says without even calling the person's name. You can talk about somebody without even sharing the person's video or using somebody's video to analyze that thing that you feel is not said right say it right on your own platform you is, you have your freedom of speech say it and move on say it and move on people will see it and understand but when you bring it as a challenge to it will you be doing it as if you want to pull somebody down it will be written all over you you will see the whole head trade it will be written all over you that you want to drag this person down to the floor Simply because of one particular thing that he didn't do the way you want him to do it. You want to drag him and rub him on the, on the floor. Because the person didn't say this thing the way you want him and want him to say. Just like the present one now people are accusing Simon of Epa. You want Simon Epa to speak the way you want him to speak. Even when Simon Epa have made his stand very clear. Simon Epa have made his stand very clear. Earlier than now he has made his stand clear before now. 
before this time, he has made this clear where he stands when he comes to the issue of Biafra. That he will continue to fight for Biafra until Mazen is released. He has said he will continue to fight for Biafra until Mazen Nandekano is released. And he has not changed from it. He is still fighting for Biafra until Mazen Nandekano is released. That's what, why don't you wait and wait until when he opens his mouth and tells you that I'm no longer fighting for Biafra? Wait. Let him say he's not no longer fighting for Biafra. You and I know that he is fighting for Biafra. Everything that he is doing points to that direction. Everything that he is doing points to that direction. But yet, simply because of one issue, you will feel that he is not using the language you want him to use. You will feel that he is not speaking the method you want him to speak. Even that thing you want him to say, he has said it. He has said it. He has said it. He has said it. It's left for somebody who has a common sense to understand. It is not everything you go on physical attack, attacking attack. There are certain information you pass with love. It is, it is so sad. It is so sad. Some people are so confused that they can be able to talk about irrelevant things because of things that are doesn't matter, because of peanuts, because of things that are you, out of hatred. It is so bad. It is so bad. It is so bad. We need to wake up, dear friends. We need to wake up. We need to wake up. Every single one of us have a responsibility to restore Biafra. Today, the man who is the flag bearer who is taking lead us through Mazin Nandikano is in the hand of the enemy. Is in the hand of the enemy. Why don't we focus on one place? Why don't we focus on the enemy? Focus on the enemy. Focus on the enemy. Let us get Mazin Nandikano out. When Mazin Nandikano comes out, 90% of what you are seeing today will be solved automatically. 90% of the thing you are seeing today when Mazin Nanikan come out, 19% of what you are seeing today will automatically solve themselves. I can only have a problem with somebody when I see, when I look deeply and say that this person is doing something to stop the freedom of Mazin Nanikan, which I know is going to bring my freedom. The freedom of Mazin Nanikan is going to bring my freedom. It's going to make me free. And I see somebody fighting against it. Of course, I won't be happy. I will speak against you. But when I see that you have given suggestions leading to my freedom, leading to freedom of Mazin Nanikan, which is my freedom, you have made impact financially, physically, spiritually. Why must I, even if you make a mistake, why must I attack you for one single mistake? For one single thing that you didn't say the way I want you to say. Then I just, all of a sudden, I change 360 degrees and begin to condemn you. It's only somebody who has good intentions. That will not make you a better person. It doesn't matter how truthful you think you are. It doesn't matter how truthful what you are, what you are saying it looks in your eyes. It doesn't matter how truthful what you are saying looks in your eyes. As long as you are not doing it right, as long as not doing it with good intent, you are wrong. When you tell the truth and you are telling your truth with bad intent, with bad motive, you are doing the wrong thing. You see some people, they are just waiting for this day you will make one single mistake. And that is what is happening to Simon Epa. There are some people who are watching Simon Epa. They just want him to use the wrong language. They just want him to use one, one single mistake. That is what they are expecting. Simon Epa is human. He can make mistake. He is not 100% correct. He can make mistake. He is human. But you see some people, they explain it. They are just waiting for you to make one single mistake. Then, they will capitalize on that, begin to call you name. They will. They can go to any line, call you all the manner of name, do all manner of things. Even when the mistake they are calling mistake is the only mistake, is mistake in their own eyes. In so many people's eyes, that might not be a mistake. Every single human being on the planet, they have the right to express themselves the way they want. To talk about issues the way they want. I must not debate issues the way you want me to debate. I must not speak about matters the way you want me to talk. I have my own way and my own ideas and my own beliefs. It's left for you to take it or leave it. If you feel that the way I'm talking is not good for you, you make your choice and make your own words, speak your own mind the way you want to speak it. That is how it works. We are trying to build a, build a Biafra. We are people who have freedom of speech. 
a Biafra, we are people who can be able to speak their mind and have their own opinion. I pray that Chukwu will carry our guard and protect every one of us and give us strength. Tomorrow is it at home. If you have anybody in Nigeria, call them. Sit at home, tomorrow will be a ghost town. A ghost town. Every civil disobedience has to be taken to the highest level. Let us tighten it up. Tighten it up. Chukwu Kukabiam is watching and he's going to support us. Thank you all for watching wherever you are watching from. I will see you again tomorrow. It's already late over here. I will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow I will come back again and we will talk more about this. Thank you so much for your patience. Thank you for joining me on this broadcast. I pray that Chukwu Kukabiam will guard and protect you. Thank you and remember, see you again tomorrow by the special grace of Chukwu Kukabiam. Bye bye and good night. Thank mm -hmm. you.